while many of the reports that can be generated for a meet can be done well in advance of the meet, there are several reports that will have to be done right before the meet starts in the window after 5 p.m. once all the substitutions for the meet have been completed and input into the computer. These include revised meet programs, revised judges forms. You do not necessarily, however, have to print revised lane timer sheets. The timers do not have to be fully apprised of every last substitution that took place prior to the start of the meet. The meet programs that need to be printed, again, can be done under reports by selecting meet programs. And again, you would want to select all. You want to pr print a complete revised meet program. You'll want to print at least a dozen copies of these. One copy should go to the meet referee. One copy each should go to each team's deck manager. One copy each should go to each place judge for their purposes of recording the order of finish. One copy each should go to each head coach. That's seven copies right there. The remaining five or however many you can print copies should go equally to each team, to their team bullpens and so forth. Again, these should be printed after all the substitutions for the meet have been done. More importantly, these should be printed on some form of colored paper. You'll have a great number of white copies of the meet program floating around. If you print this on a blue or pink or yellow um, piece of paper, it makes it readily apparent that this is the latest and greatest copy of the meat program that's got all of the substitutions on it. Be advised, don't pick a dark colored paper. Um, while it may contrast nicely in daylight as the day gets later, if you get into the evening it'll be very difficult to read these on darker paper. So be careful on what you choose. The other information that will be need, need to be printed prior to the start of the meet will be the revised judges placing form. That's the UK judges placing form created by going to reports, lane timer sheets, and the format down here is going to be UK judges placing sheet, not continuous. This again creates the worksheet for the judges recorder to record the official order of finish onto your computer software, onto your results for the meet. Again, for this, you'll only print the events that have been affected by substitutions. So instead of going up here to select all, you would go down and select just the events where substitutions happen. Say, for example, it happened in event 11, event 14, um, event 13, and event 16. Those would be the only events you would need to reprint. It would not be practical to reprint all of these because, again, that would create uh, roughly... 60 to 80 page document that's not practical to cut and print in half. Again, these should be created and printed onto colored paper for the purpose of making them stand out in the paperwork as being events that have been changed by substitutions. It becomes very important for the purpose of reprinting this paperwork that the home team keep track of every event that's had a substitution take place so they'll know exactly which events to reprint the paperwork for. It makes the process much easier to do and goes a lot smoother for every team involved. Again, these need to be printed after the 5 o'clock substitution deadline and hopefully prior to the 5.30 start time for the meet.